Hey guys, welcome back. For this video tutorial, I'm going to start working on a sensor that is a compass which is HMC5883. Now, to gain more knowledge, to have a better perspective regarding the sensor, let's go to controleverything.com and here search for this particular sensor that is HMC5883. As you can see, it's a 3 axis digital compass and these are some of its more precise features. Now you can also purchase the sensor from here, from this website. Now I will be interfacing the digital compass sensor that is HMC5003 with a particle photon and I will be requiring a particle code for that. So I will be going on the resource tab and here uh, the particle code sample is there. You click on this and you can download the code zip as zip file. Now what we are going to do is to collect some uh, hardware connections. But before that, there is a second way of getting this particular code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now please do that and now what we are going to do is to collect some hardware so that we can make some connections and then what we are going to do is to show the working and interfacing every part. Let's have it. In the hardware connection setup, first of all we require a particle photon which you can see on my screen and here comes uh, I2C shield. Now this I2C shield is available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this is to make connections with other I2C devices and that connection should be a lot easier. That's why we are using this I2C shield. Now gently place the particle photon over the I2C shield and make a connection. The next part is to bring a sensor that is digital compass 5883, HMC 5883 and this here is a connecting cable. Now make the connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that while making this connection uh, the ground wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same goes for the I2C sheet. Now the last part is to provide uh, power for the particle photon and therefore we require a micro USB cable just like this and gently put over the micro USB port over the power port and we are done. Now what do we require is to have a look over the particle port so that we can interface and let's after that we can work out with the code along with the sensor. Let's have it. Further in the interfacing part uh, to acquire the particle code what we have to do is to log in to github.com and here we have to search for the official repository that is control everything community and there you go and this is the official uh, sensor that is HMC5003 digital compass 3 axis and here comes the particle code. Let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow to pursue this code. It says that we have to log into a particle photon and set up the device according uh, to this very link. Open this link so that we can have a better perspective regarding the sensor, uh, the device applications and everything you want to know, uh, especially the dependencies. Now please note down all the relevant information for the Windows, Mac operating system, everything. Now in the second part we have to download or git pull the code and on the online id we have to copy the code and build.particle is the online id where we have to build a code here we want to save the code and save it and after that we have to do the next step which is to verify and flash the code on the particle photon and the code output will be displayed in logs at the dashboard. Let's open up this dashboard log and we will have the output on the screen as you can notice and here we will have the relevant information output on the screen. Now these are the relevant uh, instructions but uh, now the time is to have a look over the particle code it's dot ion extension file. Now let's have a closer look on the code as you can notice we have the heterophiles application dot h and spark wiring i2c dot h included and we have the uh, defined the address of the sensor that is 0x1e. We have initialized some of the variables as you can see in the word setup function we have some set variables and we have initialized i2c communication as master along with serial communication with a baud rate equal to 9600. Now in the writing part where we are sending data to the sensor we are selecting configure rest a having address 0x00 and we are sending the command to set normal measurement configuration data output rate equal to 0.75 hertz and that is 0x60. After that, the second part is to select the mode register having address 0x02 and we are sending the command to set continuous measurement having address 0x00. Now, as we are done with the writing the commands, now we want to get the data back from the sensor that's the reading part and we are selecting data register having address 0x03 and from that very register we are reading 
and requesting six bytes of magnetic field data that is the perpendicular axis x y and z so after that we have the conversion of the data takes place which is according to the data sheet been provided in the link uh, for the hmc5883 at the very end of our code we have the output data on the dis dashboard which is the magnetic field axis and uh, field values in x y and z axis let me tell you uh, it, it's all raw values it might be negative or the positive but raw values are there so please note it down carefully now what we want to do is to have a look over the practicality of this code and let's see how it works in the working environment first of all the step is to copy this entire particle code and now open up the build link we have discussed earlier here what we have to do is to create a new file and paste the entire code here and just like this and here paste the code and name it hmc5883 for a better reference and then save the code and now verify and compile the code as you can see it's good now flash the code while flashing the code we have to check for the magenta flash which confirms that code is good to go and soon just now we have the successful notification of the flashing of the magenta flash on the particle photon so it means we have the output data on the dashboard user logs and we have the magnetic field values for x y and z axis as you notice we have the values constant but when i bring a mag bar magnet near to the sensor you can notice the change in the values for x y and z axis which are the perpendicular axis as i'm moving bar magnet uh, in the different directions relevant to the sensor the value changes so this is how the sensor responds now what we want to see are the applications features and the benefits of this particular sensor that is HMC5883 the HMC5883 is a surface mount multi-chip module designed for low field magnetic sensing with a digital interface for applications such as low cost compassing and magnetometry the HMC5883 includes our state of the art high resolution HMC118X series magneto resistive sensors plus an ASIC containing amplification, automatic degaussing, strap drivers, offset cancellation, and a 12 bit ADC that enables 1 degree to 2 degree compass heading accuracy. Applications for HMC5883 include mobile phones, notebooks consumer electronics, auto navigation systems, and personal navigation devices. The sensor, the digital compass HMC5883 is available and can be purchased from the website that is controleverything.com and you can have the code from the resource tab and after that you can have the code as a zip file from that. You can also have the code from GitHub repository and it's called control everything community. Now, I would just like to make it clear that in case any part, if you have any queries, you can reach us on controleverything.com and put your comments on the community page of this website. For blogs and articles, you can have a look over on instructables.com for us. And if you want to subscribe more video tutorials like this, go to our YouTube channel. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.